see the big tarp in there. That's where we're looking for on the flats here. So time to do some cruising. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Fantastic, gorgeous day today. It is beautiful. This is about as perfect as you can get. Bluebird skies, full sun, nice and calm out here. So I made the run to the outside of the back country. So the, the, the farthest islands and then the flats just to the outside of those leading out into the Gulf. Uh, tide is on the high and dropping so it's about perfect here because uh it gets really shallow out here at low tide and that's not good i want the water levels to be big and we're targeting mainly the uh, big tarpon migration uh so those big guys will be coming out from the deeper waters of the gulf and then swimming across these flats as they head towards the atlantic and that's what i'm looking for and with conditions like this uh it's very easy to see them but the other thing though is then you end up running into a lot of permit and bonefish as well. So I kind of got rigged for everything. That's that shark over there scrounging in the mud. Uh, we've got the uh, seven inch uh, fluke there. That's going to be my tarpon rod. Then I've got the uh, Schmino gold one there, weightless. Then I've got a uh, esky shrimp and then I've got a bucktail. So a little bit of everything. The only thing I might add is I might switch over one of the rods to a uh, CUDA tube, just depending on if I see any out here because you'll see those big ones uh, cruising out here on the flats as well. But mainly I'm gonna be looking for those, the tarpon, bonefish permit, work the flats here. Because it's so calm, uh, you can actually spot the uh, tarpon because they're gonna be creating a wake. Uh, also looking for those big black blobs patches where it's multiple ones of them so uh that is our plan so this is kind of what we're looking for but instead of a nurse shark we want a uh, tarpon but as we're drifting the flat uh, there's a cuda there maybe i should switch over there's another big cuda there yeah i'm gonna put a cuda tube on yeah i gotta do it all right change of plans I don't know if you can see him, but there's a pretty big uh, cooter right there stalking me. So I'm going to throw on a cooter tube, baby cooter tube. This is the double weighted J hook. Just what I got. Yeah, see he's circling me, being very patient. So I'm on the motor and I'm scooting pretty fast, but this flat goes forever. So I'm just trying to see what's out here, if it's worthwhile to uh, shut down and kind of paddle around. But I saw those kudas, I saw one, one uh, migrating tarpon, big tarpon, but that's all I've seen so far. So all this has been dead area that would have wasted a lot of time. And I don't actually have a lot of time because right now this tide is dropping pretty fast and pretty soon it'll be too shallow for those big tarpon. So, got to see what we see and do it really quickly. Big turtle. You can see that V, that wake running across there. I mean, it could be a shark, it could be a ray. You just can't tell. That's one of the benefits of flat calm gets you. That's it over there. If there's multiples, yeah, those are multiples. So those could even be like permit. They're running fast. That's not a ray. I think those. I think those are permit. There's like two or three of them. Yep. Yep, you can see the tail there. It's a big one. Yep, right there. Really big one. 
And that's how you do it with that wake. Coming across that side there. There it goes. Now, that was a permit. Big boy permit. You see him waking there. All right, we're going to come around and check out this corner up here. I got the anchor ready to drop because I want to sit just ahead of it, stop, and then just really scope it out because it can be really hard to see these fish. And if I get too close, it just flushes them out. See how it's generating a lot more corner uh, current around this wrap around. That's why a lot of times I'll see fish just laid up here in these current and these potholes. There's redfish there. Dang it, I knew it. I should have stopped a lot sooner. There's two redfish. Because of all this bait fish I saw in here as well. Oh, there he is right there. There he goes. Oh, I'm gonna spook him. I spooked him. Dang it. Oh, crap. Why didn't I listen to myself? Stop. That's what it was. It was like two or three redfish. Oh, wait, there's one right down below me there. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I got him right there. He's right there. There he is right there. Oh my gosh, I suck. What am I doing? Oh. Why am I still drifting? What the heck? Oh, the anchor's not... It's too deep right here. I didn't set the anchor high enough. Weak. All right, the tide is dropping. Um, we're at a point where I doubt any of the adult tarpon would be running across the flats. It's just too skinny uh, and it's borderline for the permit. Uh, so it's kind of like kind of a waste to be out here. In an hour or so, uh, a lot of these flats, you can see it's getting ripply already, are gonna be above water. So I uh, gotta kind of shift gears. So what I'm gonna do is go look for some mullet um, and then pilchards if I could find those as well. But primarily I'm looking for mullet so I can get some chunks. Uh, as that water drops, uh, that's gonna force all those fish that are in the middle of the island to come out on the edges. So that's kind of the, the prime time for that. And that'll give me a better shot at catching something, especially the redfish. Uh, so uh, let's go see if we can find some bait. I see a redfish or snook. Oh, schools and schools of snook. Dang it. Look at all those snook. Go back, go back to your holes there. Oh, oh, that spooked them. Oh, I knew that was gonna spook them. I am the king of the, oh, there's a bunch of snook there. <sighs> snook spot. I'm more interested in those snook that went that way because they're not going to be all spooked out. And this is going to be better for throwing my fly rod. Look at all these snook there. I wish you guys wouldn't come towards me. Yeah, find a different, oh, there goes that school there. I'm 
and it's all full of snook. They're all getting pushed out of the uh, inside. All right, snook on the fly time. There's one there. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a nice one. Spooked him off. I'm doing good. All right. All right, now I'm ready, so all of them should be gone by now. And he's still over there. Uh, they'll move around in the corner here. Oh, there goes more. Yep, that was spooking them off. enough current oh is he looking for it in the weeds that bigger one is the more interesting one I'm gonna spook him out yeah they're all spooked oh he's coming he's looking for it they came back for it oh then they saw me and said no, thank you. Oh, yeah. O for 20 snook. Great. And no mullet. Oh, there's a little guy. Oh, oh, spooked him. What the heck? What did you get scared of? Got the fly sitting there. He's going towards it. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Didn't even look at it. Look at it. Wake of something. Oh, there he goes. There goes everything. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, there's more of them coming out. Oh, that spooked them. There's still a little baby. Oh, that spooked him too. Nice. Man, these guys are like bionic eye do, 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 do. oh and the tree yep that is the end of our little spot here that was that just made me have gobs of confidence now oh there he's there Look at that, perfect. Oh, he's looking at, he's trying. He's going for it. There, got him. <laughs> I gotcha. Snook on the fly. He's like, this thing is irritating me. Oh! Too much torque on it. At least it didn't break the leader. That makes me happy. All right, confidence is back. Give me more. I need those ones that have just hatched. They have no clue about anything. Oh, there's some bigger, uh, not bigger, but. Coming across there. Oh. That spooked him. Hmm. That's a little bit heavy handed. I'm seeing pinfish flashing. The mangroves. So there's a lot of pinfish here. Them all flashing there. 
So that could be a bait option. I should, I can, I'm not finding any mullet. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a look-see up here and then maybe come back for these if I can't find anything else. It's getting so skinny I can't even uh, motor, so I gotta be careful. So I'm gonna head out towards the channel where at least I can escape as it gets uh, more and more shallow. I think that's where all those uh, snook were heading too. Eat the esky shrimp, eat the esky shrimp. Oh, there's one coming for it. There it goes. There he is. I'm the king of catching babies. Oh, I'm the king of catching and releasing babies. Man, he was like, I want that. I want that now. Oh, here's one of my go-to mullet spots and there's three, just three. How am I gonna catch one out of three? There goes a Goliath grouper. He was sitting in this hole here. Oh, there's other stuff puffing. I seen some snook or might have been another Goliath back there. I'm looking for my redfish. I think I see mullet and I hear them popping back there. So I'm going to look for uh, some fish over here and then I'll go up and see if I can get that mullet. All right, there's a little pocket of them right there. I'm going to do the five foot net because I could reach out to them and uh, hit them a little bit faster. But I get one shot, one kill, or one shot and big fill. I gotta hit them when they're not looking. They seem to be doing a pattern. They'll go up here and they'll turn around. When they get right about there, I need to put a whack on them. So they got their basically their backs turned to me. See, they're starting to turn there. I need this. I need the fresh scent. Oh, don't leave. Turn around. Come on. You got to be kidding me. There they go. All right. Come on. Go to your go to your side over there. There we goes. There we go. There we go. Oh. I got one or two maybe. That's good enough, but dang it. They got right on me. Oh, two, that's actually pretty good. That might be good enough. I think that'll do good enough because I just needed some chunks. All right, there we go. We're gonna have scent and taste. Nice chunk there. And mate that with a uh, weighted circle hook. Bam. Found this nice rusty one. That could be a big mistake, but uh, that's what we're looking for. All right, let's see if we can put it in one of these holes here. Or fish might be hanging out. Oh, Goliath came and got it. Oh, no. Uh, got him out. <laughs> uh, didn't even know he was on there. Uh, you're on the Esky 12 pound. You have no chance. Except for that rusty circle hook I used. And I've got 30 pound leader. And I'm pretty certain I trimmed the, uh, the braid on this line. Oh, shark, get out of here. Don't do it, shark. Don't do it, shark, or you'll be next. See, it took like three minutes after I caught that mullet, and then bam, we're on this beautiful boy. Ugh. Weighted circle hook. Hey, 
Papa! No need to be rude. There we go. Weighted circle hook. Bam. That's the, that's the picture there. Boom. Weighted circle hook. Oh, you're rude. Rude. Stop, man. There you go. Alrighty. Catch the bait, catch the fish. Look at all the snook. They came out to see what's going on. Shouldn't have stood up, then they saw me. All that commotion and they came out. Damn it! I had my snook on the jig and my braid broke on a different rod. That was the snook. I think something's got it. It's something good. Oh, oh something good. Oh. Come on out. 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 I got you out. Stay out. No, you can't go back in there. <laughs> got you out. I got you out. I got you out because I put 30 pound leaders on and I cut a bunch of line off so no weak spots. Bam. Esky 12 pound weighted circle hook for the win. Oh. And mullet chunks. I guess mullet chunks probably deserves the most. All right, I don't wanna break the tip. You fought valiantly, but you lost. He's kind of big. Yeah, he's definitely kind of big. My hand to compare to his head. Weighted circle hook. I don't want to brag, but that's my weighted circle hook. And the mullet chunk, which did all the work. Look how big he is. I got you. I pulled you out of that tree. Do you have my other one or is there enough someone another one in there? Nope. All right, buddy. I got gotcha. you. Look at that big boy. Oh, <laughs> well, there you go. Mullet chunks for the win and weighted circle hooks. Nesky rods and a little bit of my skill. <laughs> All right, the sun is setting and the noceums are ferocious. So we gotta get out of here. Oh. All right, sun is set. Outran those noceums. Oh, they're horrible. But yeah, pretty good day. Um, I haven't been out here probably in over a month. So good time to do a bait check. There was none. Took the entire trip to find those two mullet right at the end, but they pay off so much. So it's almost worth it taking all that time. But uh, found a lot of snook, caught the baby snook, found a lot of juvenile tarpon. 
So caught a little baby tarpon there. Only saw the one permit, the one adult tarpon, but uh, what can you do? I think the most of the run is going to be on the Atlantic side from going forward. But uh, yeah, it was a good refresher day, so happy about it. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video. Bye.